Ahem, good morning, Starseed! Good morning to my 1,750 Starseed. It is a big, beautiful day of disclosure. Thank you so much for being here. I see that we have so many people rolling through into the chat, including Akashi Chris. We have alien scientist Jeremy Reese. What's up, dude? Good to see you. We also have Urban Way. So happy to see you. I have Rubbeye. What is up, Timmy Freestone in the house? So happy to see you. I love you guys. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so happy that you're all here. We're going to have a good show. We got this circling disease that's taking the world by storm. <laughs> I know, I know. A lot of people are like, I don't know about this circling disease. I don't know what's going on. I don't think this is the end of the world. But we're going to be getting right into that in just a bit. But before we get started... Obviously, we're going to be doing our Starseed reading of the day. Thank you so much for joining us. If this is your first time watching us, we are streaming on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and we push this out every day to the podcast network of Spotify. And thank you so much for being here. That being said, I'm going to be doing some crystal energy um, on the show. We're going to be zapping out the negativity. All right, so here you go. We've got some white celestite let me turn down the music i have to upload the music into Streamyard. do you know what i mean i've got to upload the music into my Streamyard studio so that it's start it's starting to do this thing when i listen to the replay on the way to work but i've got my quartz good morning lisa good morning zach my crystal quartz need more coffee mm. this is exciting my crystal quartz. I've got my orange calcite. There you go, wonderfuls. It looks just like an orange slice if you can't watch us and you're listening on the podcast. Looks like a nice orange slice. We got more friends coming into the chat. We've got Zach, Diecast, Mancer. Oh my gosh, we've got Dirty Mike. Yes, everybody's here. So let's channel the collective and then get started. I'm going to put my Organite Pyramid into the mix as well. Believe it or not, this has like a little crystal right at the top. Pretty cool, right? Oh my gosh, Renee's Cruz is here. It's like the whole family's here. I feel like it's like a like a starseed reunion. Okay, ready, you guys? Let's go. Ready? Three. Here we go. Take a deep breath. <laughs> wow a lot of different energies I don't even wow okay we've got some fascinating energies like I say sometimes I like to imagine you guys as like a giant ocean and there's some massive waves today so uh let's see and this is an interactive chat show but while I'm reading the collective <clears throat> I get really into my reading so here we go I'm so happy to see everybody here all right, so feeling some interesting energies for sure. So we're going to be starting out with my favorite deck, which is one of my favorite decks. I have a million favorite. Oh, are you looking at that? Right when we pull the deck out, we get the MIB. It's usually an indication that someone's stalking your social media. It's usually an indication that somebody's watching you, but, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Spirit, collective, you could just help me and all the entities, all the starseeds on planet Earth be protected, give them protection, light, love, abundance, harmony, everything. What do starseed need to know today to reach their highest self? What? Oh my gosh, that just flew out. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling it. No way. Wow. So we got Pleiadians. Did everything just break in my office? Everything just broke. No, everything's fine. The lighting's still here. Okay. 
We got Pleiadians, which is unconditional love, excitement, laughter, and also this beautiful feminine blonde energy. She's hanging out right by a flying saucer. Um, there's also butterflies. There's She's in nature. It's freaking amazing. Pleiadians are the love species, right? And maybe you have a connection to Pleiadians. Maybe you are a Pleiadian. You know, I've been listed as a Pleiadian. Savita the Starcy came on my show and we did my ancestry back in um, Pleiadian. So maybe that's the one that you connect with the most. Um, but it is just a symbol of ex unconditional love, excitement, laughter. Might be a divine feminine energy in your world right now that has something to do with this. It could also potentially be 16. The number 16, 6 plus 1 equals 7. 7 could have some sort of number that has significance to you. Next, let's pull out a star seed. So what is it that starts? This is our clarifying card, and then we're going to jump right into the show. Oh, wait. I'm getting too into it. I'm getting too into it, and then we're going to start talking about... We're going to start talking about it. Okay. Spirit, what do stars you need to know about this un unconditional love, excitement, and laughter? Spirit, what do, what do we need to know about this Pleiadian, unconditional love, excitement, laughter, divinely feminine, alien, UFO, spaceship energy? What do we need to know? All right, I got this little card. I really love my Starseed Oracle um, deck by uh, Nari. Nari something. Light. Oh my God, this is tripping me out. Um, light, right? It is time to reveal your radiant light to the world, or maybe just the word light has some sort of light speed is coming to mind. Maybe light has some sort of symbolism or significance. So that being said, shine your light out into the world, my beautiful lovelies. Let everybody know exactly who you are, what you do. Send your beacon of hope out there because it is a Pleiadian love energy. So this is just about you kind of like celebrating you. Put it out there into the universe. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. We all know I just do this for fun. But um, I hope it helps. And if you don't like your rock and roll loud, I highly, 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 highly recommend you turn down your volume because we're about to rock and roll. Rubbies in the chat. You want a slice? Whoa, what is up, Dirty Mike? We love it. We got Timmy Freestone here. Ow! What is up, my fine people? It is Thursday, December 1st. 2022 and is another beautiful day of disclosure and i can see that all of the friends are jumping into the chat we have lynn hurley oh my gosh girl i've been missing you i've been thinking about you i'm gonna text you later little kisses little love because she's got rebellious ufology i've been looking over these these clips of us lynn hanging out with jim goodall my mind's going insane you gotta help me you gotta help me but we'll talk about that later we also have Paranormal Shop Shop in the chat. He's going to be coming on the show on an early morning show. A host on the morning show. I love it. Because back in the day when we first started out, we really liked to party in the middle of COVID. We were all bored getting on StreamYard. And now we and so we get silly. But now when you come on early and you co-host with me, we get silly because we're tired and it's so damn early. And why are we getting up? So Sonny's going to be coming on the show soon. I love it. So cool. Okay. I don't even know where I was going with that. But 
If this is your first time joining us on Alien Girl 111, we are so glad that you are here. If you could just do us a favor, if you could like, if you could just subscribe, if you could just hit that notification bell, we would be greatly appreciated. We want to grow this show bigger and better all the way to the top. And we are also distributing all of this to Spotify at the end of the show. And soon next, next week, we're going to be distributed on even more platforms. We're doing it. Okay. I feel like we got a good thing. Let's jump in. Let's jump into it. Let's jump into the, the the lambs, the circling disease. I know a lot of people have already messaged me and they're like, it's BS. But there's been a lot of other things that have been happening. Like I've got people who talk to aliens coming up to me telling me like, hey, it's not. <laughs> so one of them actually being Sue Walker, she did the, luckily I took a screenshot and I was in my chat last night being the obsessive chat person that I am. Um, and luckily I was able to screenshot what she what she said. Because if you're here and you're just joining us, we first have to start with our third phase of moon <laughs> video. Thank you so much to Brendan Blake Cousins for letting me play it. We love you guys. We love you guys. Um, because that was actually, I, it's, it's not the first place that I heard about it, to be honest. Um, I actually heard about it on a Twitter spaces. And when I heard it, yeah, these Twitter spaces, you guys, <laughs> these Twitter spaces. I'm always like, can you give me a source for that? Do you have some more information about that? The Twitter spaces are awesome. Like in the fact that it goes like so deep down the freaking rabbit hole that you have no idea what's going on. Um, so anyway, so on Twitter spaces, somebody's like, these animals are going around in circles. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And even for me, you guys, even the sheep going around in circles is a bit much. Right, like even I think that's probably circling disease. More than likely. More than likely. Oh, they put you on a 20 minute. Okay, on my short. Yes, I'm doing those shorts. I am doing shorts. I think it's a good idea. Um, so let's jump into that third phase of moon clip just to give you an idea of what's going down. What's going down? Here we go. Time. They, they don't know what these are. Drones, I'll pull it back. Craft, whatever. B and B. Cover it. C palm. Oh, the the whole call, the, the volcano's going off. I hope the boys. Videos. I should tell them be careful. Baba, don't get you close to that volcano again. They're like UFOs. These and boys are crazy. Loa, the they just jump near. Volcano, once again, is active right on third phase of moon. They better be careful. I don't want to see them like three feet away from the volcanoes again. Phenomenon. We're gonna get panel members discussion on this phenomenon that's happening worldwide what's up with these animals what is up with these animals let me turn it up. around in circles and let me tell you it's quite unusual with all the video evidence it seems something strange is going on recently on the internet there was video of a herd of sheep going around in circles but let me tell you uh, this isn't the only animal that is having uh, this kind of issue We've got insects, we've got birds, cattle, and now goats. Uh, this is crazy stuff. What could be behind this? Brent, what's your thoughts on this? Yeah, this one's pretty wild. It's a little scary to say the least, but there's even fish that are seen going around in circles as well. It's quite weird to say whatever's going on is something that I've never seen What's so up, Terry? around our planet right now. Again, some people are saying that this could be like a circle disease, some, some sort of uh, weird stuff that's in the ground that the sheep are eating. It is causing this weird, uh, you know, mutation in their brain, making them do this crazy circular formation and they end up basically dying when it's all said and done. But why are they being seen within like insects, ants and fish? Circle disease doesn't go to this level of other animals and creatures. Yes. What the hell is Absolutely. that? Absolutely. It's hard to tell what's going on in these animals' brains and birds and all this stuff. It's Whoa, the turkeys are on the tree. Check me out. From Dr. J Radio Live. What's your thoughts on this? Thanks for having me, Blake. Always a pleasure. Now, this is really oh, no. interesting footage. Personally, I have to say I've actually been following life. the uh, goats going around in circle for uh, a little over a week or so when it first started to uh, come out. But then I started to see this other footage of fish and bugs and just about everything else. There are three elements I'd like to say about it. First, we have to obviously 
expect that there could be a natural explanation for this. Um, is it something that's happening in the, you know, below us in the Earth's uh, core or something just underground that is affecting above? Uh, okay, okay. I'm going to turn off the music or the, I'm going to turn it off, but we can like look at it because I don't, I know that I don't know if the music will trip, trip out the copyright weird things, you know, because <clears throat> thank you so much, BFB, for letting me show this. And I think this is important. And I see you guys in the chat being like, oh, jump it to the conclusions. But I'm just going to say this some of people's favorite little ufologists, you know, on on the freaking planet, you know, or the ones who make the, the YouTube, like some of them have said that I, I just heard a lot of people say a lot of different things. And I've, I've seen stuff like this. Well, this, this part's pretty dang important because there's magnetic stuff. There's man. Here, I'll, I'll pause it right here. This, isn't that crazy with the turkeys? It's the birds that really get me and the fish. I mean, fish are doing this. Doesn't that concern anyone? <laughs> Doesn't that concern anyone that the fish are doing it too? Hey, Bob. All right. Will whirling dervish syndrome says Rabbi. Maybe. Mm. Dr. J starts to talk about how it could possibly be. What did he say? DARPA. Like weather control, DARPA could be causing this. Water for Life. God, I love that. I love that screen name. I just love it. Water for Life says our magnetic field is weakening and animals are affected by the field. Interesting. Bob Birkin says a good question. Are those <clears throat> videos from this year? I don't know. But what I said, so, because that would put a lot of more relevancy into it. If like these videos were all from like the last week, that would really be like an oh crap moment, right? <laughs> if all of a sudden this was happening, I'm getting the feeling that these are, I don't know though. I don't know the timestamps on these videos, um, but there, there was a lot of discussion about this and I found it interesting because a lot of people had a lot of different theories. Some people were very quick to just say, problem solved, right? Um, and that tends to be something that we do just as humans in general, especially I think if you follow, um, especially if I think that you follow paranormal stuff, that tends to be something we see happen all the time anyway, is that we get a lot of reports coming out where people saying, oh no, this has been solved, this has been solved. Um, <clears throat> and so that being said, it was interesting to me because the sheep happened, this happened in China here. I'll pause it real quick. This ha oh no, it went back, no. Okay, the sheep happened in China and that happened this week and they were walking around for like a whole 12 days, I think is what they said. And apparently they think they weren't eating, they weren't anything. Um, and then they got sort of, they, they kind of were under the understanding that maybe something was going on with the animal's brains. We've got a lot to review. But before we get to the logical explanation of this, which there is a lot. Yes, alien scientist says birds can see magnetic fields by using the cryptochrome in their retinas. Yes. And this was one of the things that kind of like stood out to me very intensely when it came out is I know that, you know, birds have like this magnetic compass sensor in their brain. Um, and so the sheep were in circles. Okay, sure. I'll take a lot of people could take the circling disease as 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 something that that's legitimate, mostly because I don't know if sheep have this sort of interaction with the magnetic field. I would think all human beings have a search with the magnetic field. And also DARPA, I don't know. This is where it gets like, I don't know what's going on, right? I'm like, yeah, let's just lean on what people are saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let's put on the music. Yeah, let's put on the music as we get into it. So we're going to get into the, we're going to get into the more exciting stuff first, and then we'll get into the logical explanations of what this could possibly be. But if you're just joining us and you've never watched Alien Girl, we like to cover everything, whether it's wild or totally rational. We like to cover the spectrum and it's less about my opinion more about what i see on hashtag ufo twitter and all over the paranormal universe <clears throat> so let's do you man yesterday was fun talking about elon oh shoot Ooh, another another he, now we got another elon update 
right that we gotta do tomorrow because he's showing telling his Neuralink. My god, that was weird. Neuralink show and tell. My god, that was just like a trip out life moment. Sorry guys, if I don't write it down, I don't remember the shows. Okay, so here's what Sue Walker posted in the chat last night. And I was like, that's interesting, Sue. Because she said she... I mean, she doesn't say the aliens told her this. Alright. Um, if you're not familiar with Sue Walker, Sue Walker runs the Twitter account Sandia the ET. She's currently in communication. She's a psychic a psychic who is an investigator who's been on the show before. Um, you know, FBI people will come up to her and be like, hey, we need some information about this. She'll help solve FBI cases, stuff like that. She's been on the show. She's also in communication with the Ponte who are currently residing in the Sandia Mountains, my hometown of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I luck out about all the things when it comes to aliens. Not to mention that we have the National UFO Record Center opening. Um, and they're looking for librarians. Uh, that's what I do. So it's fun. Anyway, so Sue posted this. Now I've got to zoom it in. I hate how that happens. Okay, because I, I just like you guys to be able to see. So this is what she put into the chat last night. And sorry, I see there's like a ton of comments rolling through. I'm going to be right there. I'm going to be right there with the interactive chat show. And if you're just joining us, if you're listening on Spotify, I highly recommend that you come hang out with us on YouTube live every morning at 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, because we have got a wild bunch of people that hang out in this chat. God knows what they do. I'm just kidding, guys. Love you. No, they know we're all together on this. So <clears throat> this is what Sue Walker said. He's currently in communication with the extraterrestrials. And I see Marvin hooking it up with a super sticker right at the top of the show. Thank you so much for the $5 super sticker. We love you, Marvin Dale Likens Jr. Thank you so much for all the support in the channel. I freaking love you. And I'm going to be also shouting out all of the super chats at the end of the show like we always do. So here's what Sue said. Otter and I have talked about this and here's what we perceive. One second, I got to turn down the volume. I don't know how low it is for you guys because I like to kind of level it out. Okay. Otter and I have talked about this, and here's what we perceive. When our magnet Sophia takes a hit, whether it's from solar CME or this turbulent area of the galaxy, what we are told is that the magnetics of the planet, along with magnetic changes and hits in the magnetosphere, form a sort of col a column of spiraling energy up from places in the ground. We suspect the animals sense these areas where the energy spirals up from the ground to meet the downdraft column from the magnetosphere. You might call it a sort of temporary vortex association with the magnetic storm. Just our two cents, Sue and Otter. Love you guys. I love you, Sue, and I love you guys. I love you, Otter. You guys are awesome. Um, but I want you to note here in the second thing she wrote, it said, we were, we, what we were told. So, I mean, she didn't say that it came straight from the Ponte, but usually when she's talking about this, she's talking about, you know, Ponte. Usually she's talking about the Ponte. Let me move this. Let me see. Some place? I like, literally. Yeah, where's my phone? It's making noise. Where the fuck are these? My phone fell and I'm just like hearing a reverb of my own voice through my office, through my studio. <laughs> it's going to drive me nuts. Where the okay, sorry guys. <clears throat> I'll just let it go as long as you guys can't hear it and I could probably find my phone after the show. Anyway, that's all that matters. Mr. Lurks a lot. I know who you are. I saw you lurking. I saw you a lurking in another chat and I saw you come out with who you are. I know who you are. I figured it out. So let's jump into <laughs> Sir Lurks a lot. Okay, good. That's good. You guys can't hear it. Um, let me show. There's so much to be shown on this. A lot of people gave me some stuff. Um, because it's it's like a circling disease with the sheep. But what's interesting to me about it being a circling? <laughs> yeah, I figured it out, Walt. I figured it out, Walt. I know who you are. You think I don't go lurk other chats? I lurk them all. I'm the lurker. I'm the lurker extraordinaire. I lurk everywhere. 
<laughs> and we all should. You guys, like, I was thinking about it. I don't think there's that, you know... We all just need to get along, you know? Just get along, I guess. Okay, so here was this article that came out from the New York Post that totally says that they described it, they understand it, they know what it is. Um, and this is what happens, you guys. People come out and they say, hey, we know exactly what's going down. You know what I mean? Okay, I have to stop it. Even though there's, there's an echo, I'm going to go nuts. I hear an Amy twice, and I don't know where my phone is because my mystic Martian cards fell all over the ground. It's that Pleiadian energy. It's all good. It's all good. Thank you for seeing the humor, Sonny. Thank you, Sonny. I appreciate seeing the humor in the situation. Okay. But this happens a lot, you know, and, and and it's it's understandable why this would happen. Nobody wants to just think that the reality of what their current reality is, is not real, right? Um, and so when we look at stuff like this, the mystery of the sheep circling in 12 days must have be solved. I'm actually incredibly surprised that this even got as far as it did get, to be honest. Seriously. Um... And they say that it's solved. And it always appears that they always say that this stuff is solved right off the bat. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't think it is. Okay. okay. Sorry. Obviously, I have a phone addiction, but we're good. There we go. Bob Birkin said it. Listeriosis. Circling disease. I'll take it. I'll say it's circling disease. It doesn't bug me in the slightest. It's circling disease. Why not? But what about, what about, what about the fish? What about the ants? Yes, Helen, I'm jumping into that email next. Um, yeah, but this one is most definitely is salt. Yeah, the, I think the, I think you're completely right. I, I mean, I do think, I just have to turn the volume up so I don't have to freaking hear my voice echoing with my lost cell phone. Okay. Yes. It has been solved and you should get Skechers because you're pregnant. <laughs> oh God. This is why the show's funny in the morning, right? I'm sure some people who watch this on Spotify are listening. Like I, this is one of those shows. I don't think it's going to make sense when I listen to it on the way to work. Like I'm not even going to know what I was talking about, but that's fine. It's completely fine. So yeah, you know, a lot of people, this is solved. And when I put magnetic pole shift, I, I was, I mean, magnetic stuff is kind of what people are thinking it might be related to because birds have these like magnetic compasses in their brain that help them figure out how to go south for the winter. So it's incredibly feasible, incredibly possible that that's what was going down. And next we had hey what's up crazy chick good morning ufo ow forced behavior possibly oh shoot nuggets guys okay listen up we're at it we're at a do or die moment right here everybody in the chat heads up we got some cool stuff going on right now what's going on ow! do you know what's going on lovelies it appears that we've reached that part in the show. Well, we got 50 people in the chat and it's time to announce a dance party. Yes, here we go. 50 people in the chat, welcome. If you leave, we're still having the party. We can't stop this party. 50 people in the chat. Ow! <laughs> Circle in disease, who knows? Let's do a little dance real quick, my lovelies. Here we go. We're gonna get back to the news in just a bit, but let's just enjoy this, right? Here you go. Get back to normal. 
how do I get back to normal? Okay, there we go. <laughs> it happened, wow. It's another reason to come to the show. You get a dance party when we reach uh, 50 in the chat. And those amazing tunes are brought to you by First Floor Audio. He goes live all the time with some amazing reviews. He wrote all, what happens at 100? Ha, it's never happened. Actually, it did happen once on the show. Not in the morning show. A um, hundred, our highest. This is interesting. So many weird numbers. I don't know why numbers are weird like this. But the highest amount that we had of people who's ever come to the show live was 111 people. Believe it or not. And that was our show with Angela, Truth Seekers, Alien Scientists, Rich and Alien Addict. Four hour show was just supposed to be an interview with Ollie. And then it went down this crazy path and all these people jumped on. Angela randomly showed up. That was what was weird about that show. So what happens at 100? God knows. We'll have a whole out rave. Maybe I'll do some ecstasy. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, crazy chick. <laughs> Pop some ecstasy before work. Yeah, my live chat show got to 100. <laughs> No, I've never done it. Never going to touch it. Never going to do it. My dog looked at me sideways. And that was something that I read about with this as well. It's, it's like they got some things that happen. And then like the sheep start cocking their, their head like this. And they're walking in the circles. It's normal. It's, it's a normal thing. The sheep do this. It's the thing sheep do. But do ants do this? Do... Do animals, other animals do this? Do turkeys? <laughs> do turkeys do this? You know, like, are they doing, is this because of the magnets? Is this because of the magnets? In the earth? Possibly. There are magnets in the earth, I hear. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got to get into the emails that I got. Yeah. It's interesting. I, I got this email and they were like, here, show this commercial for this video game on your show. And I was like, hell yeah. We'll they were like, we'll give you money if you show like this 30 second. And I was like, hell yeah. And then I don't know. Why would they send me an email and then like not get back? Anyway, whatever. It was close. We were so close to our first sponsorship. We were so close. Have we had sponsors? No. The crafting channel did. The crafting channel got a bunch of like, um, flex seal stuff they like some so that we i've had sponsors you know on my crafting channel maybe it's the alien market i don't know okay so i'm getting to it i'm sorry guys i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm trying i'm trying i got here today <laughs> just a huge win for the team i don't want mozilla I'm sorry, wonderful Hell and Crystal Energy. Give me a second. Mozilla sucks. Don't open Mozilla on my computer. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you like Mozilla, I'm sorry. Here you guys go. It's a little short, so we should be able to share this. That was so strange. The world is a strange place. We're all connected on this interesting, interesting thing going on on planet Earth. And then we're going to go through a lot of interesting things that Curious George posted on Twitter. Because he's a genius. If you didn't know. Curious George is a genius. Can I get the music? Okay. But that, that sheep's kind of just like spiraling. Like it's, it's not going to circle. It's cir this is weird. It's very strange. I don't know. But it says circling disease. So let's, let me just see here. So he's there, he's got the goat, and then the goat just can't stop spinning. Is that what we're looking at here? Let's see. What do you guys think in the chat? What do you guys think in the chat here? Oh, poor little sheepy. Um, Paranormal Chop Sup says there's something wrong with that goat that's a little different than walking in circles. 
Um, but Helen Crystal Energy, what she is confirming to us, and this video came from Helen Crystal Energy, so thank you so much for sending this, sweetie, is that this is what it looks like. This is why we're doing this show, to do a deep dive. It's hard to believe when we see things like that, then what's going on. Surely this is something that's happening in the brain. Surely there's nothing going on with Earth. Surely this is nothing to be concerned about. But they're circling in circles. These All these animals are circling. Yes. Yes. But I think that's an important thing to see. That's what the circling disease looks like. That's very different than what we were watching earlier, wasn't it? That was very different than what we were watching earlier. I'm very glad you sent this to me. So how can they go? Oh, I'm, yeah. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. But what about the fish? What about the fish? What about the rest of them? Okay. It's always hard to cover it all here. But we got to cover... Um, Curious George. Um, Curious George is amazing. Amazing human being. We love him. He's on the Twitter sphere. He's on the YouTube sphere. He's on all the spheres. The spheres alliance. He's on the sphere being alliance. Just kidding. That's that's blue avian stuff. You know, I don't think he's I don't think he's drank that Kool-Aid yet. <laughs> I have. I'll join the blue avian team. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, I posted this, didn't get very many likes, got a lot of a lot of comments though. <laughs> Not very many likes, many comments. Hey, what's up, Kelly? What's up, Trippy Kelly? Trippy Texas Kelly. Okay. So it got a lot. A lot of stuff. Let's play some music. Let's do some crafting the craft. Circling disease or magnetic pull shift? Yes, baby. 52. Wow. We just had our dance party. So yeah, that was awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so he gave me a lot of really cool stuff on Twitter. Um, and I think he did a good job describing it and breaking it down. He said it's a repetitive pattern with no obvious goal or function, obvious a response to stress, frustration, or boredom. If a significant block of the herd starts to wander around in circles due to frustration, it makes it likely that the rest will follow suit. A brain, a disease called listeriosis. The infection can take root in one side of the brainstem, resulting in one side of the animal's face becoming paralyzed and their heads tilting at an angle. So I didn't read it. I Curious George told me it. <laughs> this is tilted head causes them to walk in a circle. It's known as zucosis. Isn't he smart? <laughs> and it can help to repetitive behavior that doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Once a herding animal starts acting this way, it might even catch on like some weird contagion. Miss Meow said it originally started with just a few sheep before other members of the flock joined in. They were playing follow the leader, so that has to explain it. The flock and sheep in China ampled around in a continuous clockwise orcus. An, ar or an agricultural expert believes for some reason the sheep are circling is due to stress. Um, yeah, and there are 34 sheep in the there are 34 sheep pens at the farm. So here's a good scientific breakdown of what was going on at the farm. Why well, I'm kind of cool with the sheep debunk, right? Which is there are 30 34 sheep pens at the farm, but only the sheep in the number 13 pen moved in a circulating spectacle. That leaves out the magnetic pole theories. Yes, Curious George. Curious George, always keeping me sober. Keep, you know, I do get excited. I'm like, it's the damn. But that's the thing, you know, the things that change a lot in this field like there was a time where it didn't matter if i said that the poles were shifting because there were lambs circling like that there was a time when it didn't matter but now we're all trying to be very serious ufologists even though it seems like the government's totally throwing all that stuff in the trash can since covid left <laughs> they don't really care anymore They're, i mean we're not getting this uap report i don't know if anybody i feel like we're it's never gonna come i feel like they're just gonna be like oopsie do you like how emotional I get? Emotions, which is another reason. So, I mean, I told you guys that we're going to be doing the Sheehan episode today, but I, I, I like to take notes on the interviews I watch. I like to take notes. But Katie Howland, I want to put out a call to my congressman tomorrow morning. I got to figure out the New Mexico laws. I'm thinking about doing it live. Call my congressman tomorrow saying I want that damn UAP report. I don't know about you guys. So, that being said, I'm going to pull up that 
third phase of moon thing again. So we can look at some of them again. Maybe find my... Maybe find my cell phone. Ha! Ha! Ha 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 ha! There's something wrong with me, right? There's something wrong with me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Never. Never! There's nothing wrong with me. I'm totally normal. I'm a normal person. Travis Taylor. Oh my god, the Travis Taylor John Greenwald thing happened yesterday. So many things. So Get many to find things. find out what everyone else thinks. Thanks again for having me. That's right, Dr. J. Pretty crazy, right? This is an incredible uh, phenomenon that's happening world. Back to third phase of moon. Blake Cousins here, along with my twin brother Brent so and dumb. panel members, is. chiming in on the latest evidence so from dumb. around the world. The so phenomenon. Dumb. I have it's it right real. there. And what's oh, what? also this is just real the intro? are volcanoes right get... here on the big island of Hawaii, we... the it? world's okay. largest. Here, sorry guys. Around our planet. Well, we want right the Cousins now. Brothers to be safe out there in Hawaii. Are be that safe. Don't get like too close, you guys. You guys got really close last time to the volcano. A weird stuff that's in the ground that the sheep are eating it is causing this weird Sup, Ohio. Uh, you know, mutation in their brain, making them do this crazy circular formation and they end up basically dying when it's all said and done. But why are they being seen within like insects, ants, and fish? Circle disease doesn't go to this level of other animals and creatures. Absolutely. It's hard to tell what's going on in these animals' brains and birds and all this stuff. It's quite amazing. Let's take it out to Dr. J. It's all the weird freaking fish. All of it. Like... Let's see here. It's just circling around. I mean, it's absolutely insane what's going on, you guys. Absolutely insane. The fish are doing it. I mean, this doesn't concern anyone. Let's see where you guys are at with the... Let's see where you guys are at with the poll. Let's see where you guys are at with the poll. You know what I mean? Let's check it out. Let's see where you guys are at with the poll. With the poll, I gotta check it out. That was cool, we had the dance party, you guys. Thank you so much for being here this morning. That was so cool. I can't believe we got to 50. Magic, it's magic. I'm checking the, I'm checking the, the quiz. You know what I mean by the quiz? I'm checking the quiz, this, the poll thingy. Why do you think animals are hovering in circles all around the world? I'm gonna vote. So I have to vote before I get the answer. I'm gonna vote magnetic pole shift. <laughs> 53 votes, wow guys! Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Vote, 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 vote. It's all about you guys. It's all about you guys. Yes, the government is leading everyone out there into circles. It's fascinating. It's fascinating. They're trying to take us down, right, Sonny? They think they can make us go in circles? We ain't gonna do it. I'm, I'm not going to do it. They can't stop me. Sunny says, maybe it has something to do with the moon. When I night fish, cool. I use a floating light in the water. And all of the krill and bait fish and big fish all circle the light just like that. Oh! There's a debunk for the fish. That's a little bit of a debunk for the fish, isn't it? I mean, fish do kind of like if they see something. If you throw, you know some fish stuff out there you know food they'll go to it just like that look at that those fish are circling that's cool i don't even know what all that stampeding stuff was but makes me think of the good old days back when everything could be like an amazing conspiracy theory that's cool though you know maybe they are circling around like a craft what if they're circling around an alien craft all right, I'm sorry I voted magnetics and pull shift, but everyone voted that. 41%. Yes! Our chat, our polls aren't biased. Not at all. It's not like all of you are just as crazy as me hanging out. <laughs> Surely not. You know, I really didn't think we'd be able to just cover all of the spinning stuff. Like, this is, this is what came out. Um, I don't know why a lot of people, they were just really... 
This is a really big one. That's freaking weird. <laughs> Logan says, how would the pole shift be connected? It's not. We just talk a lot of smack in this show. <laughs> we have fun. 54, half of us, 41% of us think it's a magnetic pole shift. Because that's where we're at. That's where you've entered. The alien girl chat. Maybe it's a magnetic pole. Maybe if I put a tinfoil hat on and I call the aliens down, I'll be able to tell all my friends how I got abducted. Right. <laughs> Which, by the way, oh my god, this earpiece is just jacking it all up. Which, by the way, if you have alien friends, I'm okay with being taken. I think I'm okay with... No, I'm not okay with being taken. Take it back. No, thank you. Don't tell your alien friends to abduct me. I was just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. I gotta go get new earbuds. I don't mean to be so distracted, you guys. I've just been distracted this morning. But I wake up at the crack just to hang out with you guys, and I love you guys so much. And I love hanging out with you guys so much. And I do anything to hang out with you guys because you keep me keep me going. You guys have all made me better be a person. You guys have made me a better person. I'm better. I'm I'm unstoppable. I'm a fierce light. I am a machine. I am a stream machine. I am a content making machine. I am a content making machine. You cannot stop this. We will not stop. What is it? What is he saying to Big Lebowski? The dude will not. Amy has a beer buzz. Amy does not drink. <laughs> Amy does not drink. And if you watched the show long enough, you know why. <laughs> Depending on how long you've been in the uh, live chat, fam. So, let's see here. Alright, 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 alright. You know, so, we're gonna be doing that show tomorrow. I'm gonna finally look over that Danny Sheehan... I'm not gonna look over the whole thing though. I'm just gonna I'm gonna skim it. The Daniel Sheehan, Jimmy Church. I just don't watch Jimmy Church that much. Um, it's good and everything. He's got some great stuff. I just you know I just don't do it very much. Um, Sheehan, I gotta listen, see what he's doing. Katie Howland, we gotta do something about that tomorrow. Talking about. Getting these effing repeat UEP report because actually we can make a difference, you guys. And this is what makes me sad. Like when people are like talking about how the community is divided, all of these things. It doesn't matter if you don't get along, okay? And I know people are like, I don't want to call my representatives. I understand that completely. But this is that time in history when it's 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 a good your voice actually I think matters. And I'm not doing that because I'm trying to start my own big phone home or anything like that. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to figure out the laws to see if I can actually call my local representative, which it's going to be very easy to find the alien politician. Alien politicians are everywhere, <laughs> everywhere in New Mexico. So I'll definitely be able to find some sort of politician that I can call to leave a message on about how I want this UEP report to come out. Because Katie Howland posted that Katie Howland's a lobbyist. I think she's like maybe only one of the few lobbyists in the UFO community that's like trying to work with this. And a whole bunch of things happened with Katie Howland during the UCR breakdown thing um but she's a lobbyist and she was posting on on twitter that we need to be posting to try to get uh this information out there so i do i do you know i i don't like to be that person like the political person it's just not in my abilities um in my abilities but you know i'm gonna call it's something obviously i'm passionate about like what else is there that i, I really 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 think the government should tell us this um so tomorrow morning we're gonna call we're gonna call the gov. It's tomorrow Friday. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna call the government and tell them to tell us about the aliens. Tomorrow we're gonna call the government and we're gonna tell them to tell us about the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I understand. I think the one thing I just wish I could hear people say more of is that there's tiny little people out there in the universe just like us. I just wish we talked about that a little more every once in a grand while. It'd be nice. 
Wow, man. 45 people in the chat. Damn. I remember when it was just me, Renee, and you, Fistorian. Me, Renee Cruz, and you, Fistorian, Majestic Cube, Clearance. Justin A.D. Maynard was there. Back in the early, 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 early episodes, man. That was some dark times. That was some dark times. <laughs> really, like, yeah, dark times. I don't think, when I think about what drove me to do this show, it was some um, strangeness, you know? It was, oh, it was the darkness. Let's see. I don't know why everything's, I don't even know what I'm listening to. There we go. There we go. And I have to figure out what's going on with these earbuds. It's like nothing's working this morning. Everything's falling apart. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I know it's not falling apart. I know exactly what's not falling apart. And you know what's not falling apart, too. You know. It ain't falling apart. It's just getting started. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Release of the UFO tech file is the key, alien scientist. Because how did you get here? <laughs> how in the hell of the YouTube algorithm, Marvin Dale Likens, did you manage to find yourself here, crazy chick 11152? Is that because you have a weird co worker who's talking about the aliens, crazy chick? And I bet you do. Because you're from Roswell. Because we gotta be calling this gov. We gotta be calling this gov and we gotta be telling them what is going downtown. So we've got these UFOs and they are flying high to the sky, to the top. Because one day, it's all gonna come out. The bodies, the documents, and the craft. And they're gonna say, you know what they're gonna freaking say. Right, Sonny? Yeah. They're gonna say that they always freaking knew. And you're gonna say, well, no, I knew, I knew. Because I was listening to all of my podcast friends. And I was also listening to Alien Girl. One, one, one. Levi Ryan, aliens everywhere. So good to see you, man. I love you, dude. Thanks so much for being here. Also, Marvin Dale Likens, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. I truly appreciate it. You are a beautiful soul. Thank you so much for being here, Marvin. All of the friends are here. Akashi Chris, thank you so much for modding the place. Everybody, all the moderators, FAP, thank you so much for being here, making us laugh. Because God knows we got to do that on this wild planet. Because they might say you're crazy. That you don't know what's going on. We know that is not flipping true, don't we, guys? And I love each and every single one of you more than you can possibly know. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace!